Man, I love teleporting. Guys, second week of Road to Infinity War. Today, we're gonna be reviewing The Incredible Hulk. Oh, I'm not excited for this one. I'm not very excited for this one. I saw this when it came out in theaters. I, I honestly forgot this was even part of the MCU, to be honest. Didn't like it when I first saw it. And whew, seeing it again was a pain in the ass. I tried watching it once on Sunday and I fell asleep second time. I just was not interested. So I have to sit down a third time and actually watch it and so I can write everything down. Yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. It, it's a pretty bad movie. Okay, so for The Incredible Hulk, I'm just gonna start off with some of the characters. I'm not gonna go through all of them because there's, there's a lot of characters that have nothing to do with this movie. First, let's start off with Bruce Banner, played by Edward Norton. I really enjoyed him in this movie, as in like, he looked like Bruce Banner from the comics. But other than that, did not like him. I feel like he wasn't really interested in this role. Like, you could see that he not wasn't trying, but it just didn't seem natural. It, it just seemed like he was bored. He didn't want to be in this movie, which I get it. <laughs> the script is pretty bad on itself. Nothing seemed natural. Every, every emotion he showed was just kind of weak. I really do like him as... Bruce Banner. He has a lot of potential, but just not in this movie. The reason why I like him as Bruce Banner is because he's like a skinny dude. Like he's just some scrawny kid or dude. He can turn into like this green buff dude, which is awesome. It's like a, such a good contrast. His performance was just wasn't great, and it, it kind of was a letdown because I really do like him. His character also didn't have a lot of development. His character didn't have a lot of development. He wanted to get rid of the Hulk. From the beginning, he was controlling it, and he just Bruce Banner doesn't like the Hulk, which is like every fucking story. And then at the end, he kind of just accepts the Hulk, and that's it. <laughs> there was nothing leading up to it. It was just kind of a big leap. He had a huge battle at the end, and that was it. It's kind of sad to know that that's the only thing Bruce Banner had to do in this movie: just complain about the Hulk and then accept him at the end. It's kind of disappointing. So let's talk about Betty Ross which is she's the love interest in this movie, played by Liv Taylor. Do you, I really like Liv Taylor. I was watching actually The Strangers not too long ago when she was in it, and I was like, oh wait, she's from The Hulk. And then like two days later, I was watching The Hulk. She's, pretty, she's a pretty good actress. I really like her. In this movie, you know, you could see that she was trying. She has like this internal battle between loving Bruce Banner, but knowing that can turn into a Hulk and that's very dangerous. Totally cool, I, I, I really love that. But the only thing is that they set her up and then they show they don't show her until like 30 minutes like i think in the beginning of the movie bruce has a picture of her and he's like mm, that's it like there's no like dialogue and then like 30 minutes maybe more into the movie they introduce her it's like well, why is it taking you so long to introduce such a like an important character so long to just introduce her it, it, it's so bad why would you do that then she really doesn't do anything for the story, she kind of just plays a love interest. She also had like a boyfriend too, and it just kind of glossed over it because the Hulk was destroying a bunch of shit, and then the boyfriend kind of freaked out. And I, I don't know where they, they were going with that. It just kind of never went anywhere. She moved on. She had another life, and then Bruce came back, and okay, well, now Bruce. I'm, I have to go back to Bruce, that, 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 that was it. Why, why does this movie even exist? Also, we have to talk about Thunderbolt Roll, Thunderbolt Ross, which he's kind of like the antagonist of this movie, but not the main antagonist. Like in every Hulk story, he's trying to take down uh, Bruce Banner, track him down, you know, because he's too dangerous, use him as a weapon, all this bullshit. He's played by William Hurt, which is really cool because he's, you know, he's, he hasn't been recasted. I really like this performance. I think he was the best performance in this movie. Uh, he was intimidating, uh, he had a goal in the movie, and you could see that he was trying to protect his daughter throughout the whole movie. Whatever lacked emotional value in this movie, he brought it in with his performance. Now we can talk about Abomination. Jesus, what a fitting name. He is the main antagonist in the movie. I can't remember the the character's name in the movie, but uh, he's played by Tim Brock. Oh my god, he was bad. Like there was no point to him. He just kind of just hated the Hulk. He wanted a challenge to take down the Hulk, which was so stupid. 
then they give him like this like super soldier serum or some shit like that and then he can like run really fast and you know can take hits or whatever oh my god it's so ridiculous and then <laughs> Like he's trying to run fast, but like you can see that they have him in wires and he's just like going like this. Oh my god. He doesn't have any emotional motivation to take down the whole. He just kind of just that's his mission. That's, that, that's what he wants to do, which doesn't it doesn't work. Like it just doesn't work at all. It just comes off as random. Later in the oh, he gets fucking oh my god, he gets murdered in the movie. Like Hulk just kicks him full strength. He hits a tree and then he's like knocked out and then he. He heals all his wounds super fast and then he's like I want to take down the hole so then they like inject them with more shit he turns into the abomination which he looks like an abomination and not in the in the cool way because you know it's because the CGI is shit and it's it, it oh my god I get it it's a 2008 movie but honestly it looks better than Doomsday in um, Batman vs Superman abomination looks more like Doomsday than Doomsday did in Batman vs Superman yeah yeah, it's a perfect description. Also, we have Samuel Samuel Stern. I have nothing to say about him. And throughout the whole movie, we see him as Mr. Blue in the computer chat because, you know, Bruce Banner's Mr. Green because he's the Hulk. And then we have Samuel Stern, Mr. Blue. Whatever. Why is he even in this movie? Why? He's not introduced until the very end of the movie. Pointless character. But now I'm just gonna go out with the main complaints. This movie felt a lot like fan service. Just they tried to put in everything about the Hulk in like one movie. Stanley cut to Bruce Banner walking away trying to find a ride with sad music. Then it's like cut to now that I, now that I remember, there's a scene where Betty gives Bruce Banner bright ass purple pants, and it's it's the cringiest thing because they stop the movie and go, I'm not gonna wear this. Why? Why do that? Like that's, that's not even funny. I don't mind if you guys want to do fan service. Don't stop the movie for that. And it's not cool because they're trying to make it into a joke. I, I don't know what they were trying to do with this fucking movie. There's also a scene with Samuel Stern. He was like the comedy relief in this movie. Bruce Banner escapes the lab that Samuel Stern was in and Abomination is trying to get him but you know he's not he, he hasn't turned into the Abomination yet he's like the soldier dude and then he's like where's Bruce Banner blah blah and Samuel Stern looks at him and he goes oh I can see something inside of you something I don't know what it might be it could be an Abomination oh my god that's so bad like why 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 do that so cheesy the soldier dude like turns into abomination and then Samuel Stern goes flying and he lands on the floor and there's like some shit like dropping on his head and his head expands and he like smiles at the camera like he kind of breaks the fourth wall and it's supposed to be a lead up to the leader. Mm, fuck yeah. Fucking did you he, did you see that fucking pun? For for a fucking But it's supposed to be this lead up to the leader. Uh comic book Hulk villain and all that shit which didn't obviously did not work because we haven't seen him since it wasn't an easter egg it was supposed to be a setup overall I think the movie's pretty bad you can probably skip it you know I always I, I kind of just like try to forget it because I, I, I did forget that this movie is part of the MCU sorry if the camera angle just changed my camera just like completely shut off next week we're gonna be watching Iron Man 2 and I don't think I'm excited for that movie either because that movie is actually pretty bad. Guys, if you like this content, please leave a like, consider subscribing, and tell me how I can improve. You can let me know down below. Guys, thank you for watching, and um, I, I promise one day I'll, I'll figure out how to end these videos. I promise.